I'm Maurice Dubois. Tonight, the victim's sister tells CBS2 her brother wasn't even supposed to be on that train. The deadly shooting happened Sunday on the Q train as it crossed the Manhattan Bridge from Brooklyn. The train then pulled into the Canal Street subway station. CBS2's Ali Bauman live in Chinatown with the latest on this investigation. Ali. Christina Maurice, Daniel Enriquez was on his way to brunch when he was killed. His sister told me that the subway was not his first choice, but a ride share was just too expensive at the time. City officials called this shooting a setback in New York's recovery. The victim's sister calls it senseless and preventable. He shouldn't be dead. The pain is still raw for Griselle DeVille. It's only been a day since her brother, 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez, was murdered on the Q train. The subway was crossing the Manhattan Bridge when police say another passenger began pacing. Then the man suddenly pulled out a gun and shot Enriquez point blank. The gunman ran once the train pulled into the Canal Street station. Police are searching for this person of interest. This was a preventable death. You should feel safe to take the train at 11.40 in the morning on Sunday. Enriquez worked in the research department at Goldman Sachs. He lived in Park Slope with his partner of 18 years and was a doting uncle. Vial says her brother opted for the subway Sunday because an Uber was too expensive. Uber has not responded to our request for comment. This is negligence on Uber and this should be public. Enough with the search hikes. You know New Yorkers don't feel safe taking the train. We don't even feel safe in our neighborhood. Shootings in the subway system are up 500 percent compared to this time last year. And despite the Sunset Park subway shooting last month, ridership has been increasing. The system saw 61 percent of its pre-pandemic ridership last week. An incredible setback for everybody's effort to put New York back on normal footing. Monday, Mayor Eric Adams vowed to reassess the steps he's already taken to put more cops along the rails as he made a point to publicly ride the train to City Hall. I'm not going to tell New Yorkers to do something that I'm not going to do. Enriquez's sister says despite this tragedy, she has no choice but to continue commuting on the subway. She's asking the mayor, police and MTA to make sure her brother does not die in vain. Let's really address what are causing these social ills, these attacks, these incidents, and address it head on. Police sources tell us when the suspect got to this subway station, he handed his gun to a homeless man who then sold it to someone else. Investigators have since recovered the weapon and are now testing it for DNA evidence. We're live in Chinatown tonight. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, thank you.